What's going on, foodie fam? It's your main man, Dame Drops. You're new around here. Stay true around here. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Tell a friend, tell a friend. Psh, Dame Drops is back again. You already know the vibes, baby. Listen, we have been revisiting and reviewing the worst rated restaurants right here in my state. And about almost two years ago, we went to a spot called Jimmy's in West Haven, and they had horrible seafood family. Y'all almost smelt my breath on how hard I said horrible. Don't worry, my breath smell good. But dig, I'm trying to slide back to the spot just to see if they improve, see if they got better because we beat them upside the head something vicious, didn't we? So, uh, they still boo-boo the food. Let's read some of these reviews. One star. The first time I went with my sisters for a sister day lunch, we had a not very friendly, but at least responsive and thorough waitress. The scenery and surroundings were so amazing that I decided to bring my mom, aunt, daughter, granddaughter, and two of my sons the very next weekend. This location is an hour and a half drive from my home. So let me start off with that. The first strike was when the manager loudly informed my son that with us needing a table for seven, did we know that a gratuity charge would be added because there were more than four people? Um, okay, and? Then, we ended up with a very low energy waitress who made us wait an insane amount of time before even asking us what we wanted to drink. We had a call out to her after 10 minutes. I timed the wait. We went out of our way to be respectful and polite, agreeing that maybe she had had a hard day. Not our fault or responsibility, but we get it. The food was expensive and mediocre at best. The last straw came when two different groups of customers came in after us and the server was jovial and brought them their bread and drinks out expeditiously. We had to ask for free rolls. When we tried to speak to a manager, the same condescending one who made the gratuity remark, well, she basically told us we had the best waitress in the restaurant. You weren't made to feel welcome? Well, we've been around for 98 years. We must be doing something right. It was then that I had to remind her that we, black people, certainly wouldn't have been made to feel welcome then either. Shake my damn head. They won't get a dollar from my family or I again, but I am surely going back behind the restaurant where the beach is to sit on the bench and eat my lunch that I brought with me for the occasion. Well, not getting off to a good start with Jimmy's. Service, bad. Food, uh, and just the, the blatant disrespect in the game, family. I don't know if it was because they were black or if maybe the other two families that came in, the restaurant knew and took care of them right away. I have no idea. I wasn't there. All I'm saying is that's not a good way to start when it comes to these ratings on Jimmy's in West Haven. Let's go ahead and read the next one. Two star. I really end up giving poor reviews, but I just had to here. My wife and I haven't been in a few years. My brother loves Jimmy's, but honestly think that he, like me, loves the memory of Jimmy's. My wife, brother, and I went for lunch on a Saturday. Wasn't very crowded. We were seated quickly, and I will say the views are amazing as they've always been. The staff was very polite and very accommodating. My wife ordered broiled scallops. I ordered fried shrimp and scallops, and my brother ordered clam strips. I also had the crab and corn soup. The soup was amazing, and I would actually go back for the soup, but nothing else. My wife's scallops were a disaster. The serving dish was loaded with liquid that sliced, yes, not whole scallops, floated. All I can say is that while the texture of the scallop pieces was good, meaning not overcooked, that is the only nice thing I can say. My wife had two pieces and stopped eating. I tried one, and gross would be kind. We made the decision not to send back the meal since the last time we visited, we were also not happy with the food. My shrimp was fine, maybe a little overcooked. The scallops were small with heavy breading and loaded with liquid when the breading was broken, bitten. The fries were good. Not sure about the clams my brother had. I guess they were decent, not a lot to mess up. I can say with certainty I would not go back again. Too many other really good places within a reasonable distance from Jimmy's. Jimmy's is still dropping the ball. They're still fumbling the ball. They're still not securing the bag properly. I remember back in the days when, as a kid, though, Jimmy's was that spot to go, was that, and Captain's Galley. And apparently, now, this very day and age, Jimmy's is still boo-boo the fool, y'all. Jimmy's is still <sighs> falling by the wayside. 
Let's go ahead and read another one. Ooh, one star. So sad. I grew up in New Haven, Connecticut, and my parents used to take the family to Jimmy's in the 1960s. Back then, and through the 70s and 80s, the place had excellent food, prices, and service. The old man worked hard and was a dedicated gentleman and created a seafood and hot dog restaurant legend. His kids were spoiled and didn't care about quality, service, his work ethic, or the customers. Just quick money. Don't bother going here. It's sadly now a waste of time and money. Let the place close and be remembered in the history books along with the old amusement park and carousel that used to be on site in the early heyday of West Haven. Wow, they were like, you know what? Just shut it down, doggy. Doggy bone, shut it down. Jimmy's just ain't the spot to go to. But we're going to revisit. Maybe these three were just on a bad day. Maybe we're going to have an amazing experience, right? Relive the old Jimmy's when the fool was bumping a little something, right? Family, you know how we get down. I need you to sit back, relax, get yourself comfortable. I'm about to take you on a ride, but before we get there, we have to cue the music. What's going on family? So we're over here at 5 Rock Street, West Haven, Connecticut, at Jimmy's. We done read the reviews. Folks aren't too happy about this spot up over here, and we know how bad it was last time we came, but maybe they stepped the game up. Maybe they restored it back to the old feel from the 60s and the 70s, and the food game is something proper, or maybe not. Let's see what the service is about. Let's see what the food is about, and then let's take it to Yelp at the end of this video so we could talk about it all the same. Are you ready? Let's get a hungry on, right at Jimmy's. On my old flame, watching my page, say they miss what I gave them, I'm doing fine now. I feel amazing, I'm out of their range. Keep them guessing when they ask about us. Don't give them no time, that's how we stay up. How we up, but you stay down. Real from the ad, about to play up. Would you like something to drink? Oh, I'm gonna get a ginger ale as well. Ginger? Yeah. Sure. The reason that I would think fresh mozz would be a good jump off to start with is because if a restaurant is serving up booboo the food mozzarella, there's never that cheese pull. It's just a quick, psh, quick snap. And that's when you know it's not official whatsoever. So that's how you really test them. So I'm thinking about fresh mozzarella, right? Um, not doing a salad or anything kind of crazy. We're at a seafood spot. Um, I wonder if I should hit like a combo platter. Twin lobster tails. Well, there's only two lobsters in the tank. <laughs> that might be my twin tail right there, but I just don't know how long they've been sitting there. Them lobsters is like, why them lobsters got gray hairs on them? Thank you. You need a few minutes? Uh, what, what do you recommend? Oh, I can't. There's too much. There's too much that you love? There's too much on there. All right, well, I'm definitely gonna start with the, the fresh mozzarella. Do you want the, the marinara sauce on it, or do you want, it's not fresh, it's fried. Oh, fried, oh yeah, it's fried. Okay, do you want the marinara sauce on it, or do you want the sauce on the side? Sauce on the side, please. Alrighty. All right, y'all. You know the only thing I'm checking for, I'm just go ahead and grab that thing up. I don't even wanna play with you. Now, I won't stunt, though. When it comes to a mozzarella stick, this is probably the biggest mozzarella stick I've seen in a grip. I mean, finger to Mott's comparison, all right? Just to let y'all know, that's a big boy right there. So I'm expecting a lot on the cheese pull when I pull this joint apart. Facts. Look at that, look, look. In comparison to how you dip it in here, you know what I'm saying? That joint hit a little different. Come on, let's bust it up. Let's bust it. It's still hot, too. Ah, there we go. I got to bust it right there. Yeah. 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 Oh, that's that stuff I do like. Ah. Okay, this one's still going, son. So this one's still going. So like a... Yo, chill. Chill, you get it, get it all. You gotta get it all, son. We gotta get it from end to end. You know what I'm saying? Jungle gym activity. This joint go dumb crazy. All right, chill. 
I got to keep it a bean with y'all. Probably the best mozzarella stick I've ever saw. I've ever seen to tip. The best. Did you see the pull on that thing? It didn't even break. You literally got to break it yourself in order to get it to break. I probably should have walked away from the table and I bet it would have kept on going had I walked from the table. Let's get that bite of delight and see if it's acting right. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Why is it acting like that? Crispy. Like how the mozzarella kind of plays with it. Thick, cheesy, great flavor on there. And the marinara ain't even half bad. Alright, so so far we're starting off the right way. Mm-hmm. Alright, man. Hold up, hold up. Yeah. All right, whip that thing, V. Whip that thing right there. Uh-huh, look at that. Mmm. Does that look hearty, fam? Hit me in the comment section below. Let me know if we're hitting on something or not. Mmm. Mmm. A mm. little bit of chicken, plenty of veg. Nice flavor. Salted up. Broth. Salty. Liquidy. A hearty bite. I'm not even upset about that. We're working with some decent flavors so far. So, our mod sticks, yes. Our chicken noodle soup, yes. That's two for two right now. Let's see what that fried soul is hitting on when it come out. That's a true test of time when your main come out. You know what I'm saying? Not your side, your main. Hey, boo. <coughs> All right, baby. Quick ball drop. My waitress just came over and said, you get one free refill on your drink. Do you want it now? Or do you want it when your food come out? And uh, I'm gonna take it now and then I just continue to buy the rest. But I, that, that could be a ball drop, yo. It's a fountain soda. All restaurants, for the most part, give up free refills. So they're like, listen, we ain't getting the patrons like we used to get. Money done got funny in the house. So you get one free refill and you gonna pay for the rest. I wonder if y'all pay for the water too. All right, clams is looking uh, a little scrumptious. I ain't even gonna hold you. You might Green yourself. tartar sauce always throws me off, but the fried crayons are so no fries. Ooh, Lord. Don't even look greasy. Nope. Look fresh. Now, I ain't gonna stun you. My sole, my fried sole. Hold up. Yeah. It look real good. It look mean, family. Let's see what this, this baked potato. I didn't even open that up. Let me open up the cheeks on the potato. Mm, come here. Come here. Ooh, nigga, why are you so hard? Ah, that's hot. Okay, that's hot. That's what I like to see when food come out on the hot side of life, when it got that pipe into it. Let me get to the sole and make sure we hitting the right way for that joint, because it looked good. It looked good, but looks can be deceiving. All right, we're on time. Yep, yep. Mm-hmm. Here we go. Thank How's you. everything? I'm good. Even with my fries. So even with the fries, so they put a little bread underneath to kind of sop up the grease a little bit just to keep it light put some butter on my potato in a minute but right now talking crispiness we do have a little hint of sweetness on this thing right here and you guys can see it for yourself no cap no stunt this has not been overcooked tender fender bender all right oh look how that pill bag happens uh oh did this just fall out and land on me look oh you hot look you can see it for itself. I mean, I ain't gonna eat that. It been all over the table and my outfit, but you can see the soul for itself cooked just right. And this is the body that it just fell out of. So it wasn't even stuck to the fried exterior because it just jumped out like it was still alive. <sighs> Come on, man, you don't get no better than that. I, I gotta take my junk talking back, fam. I was talking fly cash sh about this spot. I was... For the first time, I gotta eat my own words, literally. You know what I'm saying? I gotta eat my own words. I said they couldn't do it. I said they couldn't pull it off. This is new chef in the back activity at Jimmy's in West Haven, Connecticut. Mm -hmm. You know like I know? Ooh, get your fork right after that. <laughs> Dip the fork in there and just do fat stuff. Just do fat stuff. Just all that tartar just.
that tartar sauce bumping a little something. Creamy. Tastes like it got Miracle Whip in it. Tangy. <laughs> you everything, baby. Mm -hmm. <laughs> At this point, they did it. They got me. I got, I got me, girl. It definitely tastes like there's a new chef that I've been hiring. If the only complaint I have is it's not all free refills mm -hmm. and you gotta pay for every other soda, and that's the only complaint that I have, family, when we take this thing back to Yelp, look, we. Yo, the only complaint is that little floaty to the left of my drink up over there, but man, I'm gonna dip my finger in there, get that thing up out of there, man, because if that's the only complaint that I have, I done eaten worse than that, so. I mean, you drop food in the ground, kiss it up to God and eat it. And we, we, if we could do that, you can still drink your drink, even with that little floaty. It's not like it's a bug or nothing. Family, your boy tired. Like, that's what good food does to you. For black folks, it gives us the itis. And what the itis is, it's basically, after you eat some rich foods, man, all you want to really do is pop your top button and lay back on the couch and just open your mouth, tilt your head back and mm, oh, burp up the flavor, mm, get to bed and fall asleep. All we want to do is fall asleep. Oh, your boy's struggling. I'm not even going to stunt and hold you. Uh, that, that was quite the drive. But it was worth it. We just went from me giving this location a one star which was rightfully deserved back in 2022 to getting a full turnaround. Like this is letting me know that an owner, a manager, somebody is going and reading these Yelp reviews and really wanting to make a difference, right? That's what it lets me know. I was really expecting for it to be a two star, to be honest with you. That's what I was expecting when I got there. I didn't receive that whatsoever. They were attentive, they were on time. Pop, pop, pop was the motion there, bringing out great food. I'm seeing folks come in, get some amazing service. And when that happens, we got to talk about that the same way we talk about when it's a horrible experience, right? So they turned it around on this one. Let's talk about it. Four stars is what I gave them. In 2022, I gave this location a one star rating and it was well deserved at that time. But here I am today in 2024 and all I can do is stand up and applaud my experience and food. First up would be my waitress, Renee, who delivered outstanding customer service for our entire meal. Kept my drinks flowing and the food delivery time was on point. Starting with my mozzarella sticks, which came out in a very thick pair of two. Probably the biggest I have seen thus far. And when it came to my mozz stretch test, they passed with flying colors. My cheese pull lasted the full length Star Spangled Banner song and then a Baptist church sermon. I was quite surprised. Flavor batter always matters. And the marinara sauce had a taste of homemade loving. It worked well for an app. Next would be my chicken noodle soup. Plenty of veggies here. Not a lot of chicken, but enough to matter, and the broth was nicely salted for a warm, hearty bite of delight. Ladies and gents, this brings us to our fried sole. A light sweetness, not a fishy taste, but more a fresh bite, and it was lightly fried. Definitely not overcooked at all. Tender and understanding to my needs at that moment. The tartar sauce was the green machine of joy that added enough additional flavor of zest and tang to set my overall bite off the right way with the soul. We end our food journey at the hot fudge sundae, rich and creamy with a nice milk chocolate sweetness of the warm and gooey fudge. A tasting to behold in a big glass that would tame the average sweet tooth with glee. Floor is a bit dated, but this restaurant in general could stand for an update. Decent ambiance for the vibe here, and my only complaint would be the buy one, get one on the soda versus just being free refills, along with the little black floaty in my second glass, but I digress. This was still a good experience, all in all. Fam, wow. I had to bite my tongue and eat my words on this one. Jimmy's definitely impressed me. They, they, they thoroughly impressed me. Because I haven't known Jimmy's to do right by the people in a hot minute. Food game was always trash. I'm going to stunt. And it seems as if they got a new chef back there. So hats off to the new chef. Whoever he or she may be, you did the damn thing today. And I got to make sure that I properly shout you out in this particular review. You know what I'm saying to you? Keep doing it. Keep serving up the people great food, man. Just something for the people to be able to go back to Yelp, to be able to talk about, to get you out of this two-star rating at least up to a three. Because that 180 turnaround where it comes to customer service, 
where it comes to food quality, it makes all of the difference. So whatever you're doing, keep it going. Shemaine Man, Dame Drops, y'all. I love y'all like soul food. If you're new around here, you better stay true around here. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Tell a friend, tell a friend. Psh, Dame Drops is back again. All right, and I'm going to try to see you guys tomorrow. I, I might take tomorrow off because I have some things I got to do. But I'm going to try to see you guys tomorrow with another super, super office show. <laughs> food review. All right, baby? I'll holler.